Qatar Airways release of its financial results, which show that the company made a 7.5 billion Kenyan shillings loss before tax. The company, which has been struggling to fly back to profitability, citing high fuel costs, among other reasons for the poor show. And of course, Faisal Ahmed will be reporting to us later on, but for now, let's listen into what uh, the officials of Kenya Airways have to say. It's one of our um, uh, privileged partners. We, we started operating our Mauritius. We just increased the number of uh, connections, and uh, we are quite close with them in terms of uh, fighting on keeping traffic uh, between our two, uh, two hubs. We have a culture to Australia with our Mauritius. So this is a cooperation that started building very well, and, and we see already the, uh, the results. We have uh, also a very good partnership with uh, Air Madagascar and Air Austral. So that completes the so-called vanilla on the Indian uh, Ocean because this is one of the f favorite way in which we can promote our flights to and from Europe but also to and from the US. Actually the shortest way of going from Mauritius to New York is today via Nairobi and we keep insisting on that because this is one of the potential um, potential house driving routes. Madagascar and uh, Air Austral, so it's La Réunion and uh, Antananarivo uh, and we fly there very frequently, uh, I mean not to La Réunion but to, uh, to Madagascar and I expect that maybe in 2019 we, we might announce some, some new routes and some even closer cooperation with them as, as, as these partnerships goes um, very well.